taste of a new generation. This is so funny, this is the exact same name of my album. Oh, there it is, you see it. Oh, it's a black one. It only looks like you'll have a... Oh, nice, okay. okay. So what kind of effects are in there? I guess it's 16 different little presets, yeah. Ah, and you have a notch filter as well. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, well, too, so you can play music through it and play along and things like this. You can, yeah. We've got a mute button, we've got a 10 dB cut button there. <laughs> cool, alright, let's take it upstairs and unplug it. Guten Tag, it's Rich from Hughes and & Kettner, and today it is my delight to be sat here on the sofa next to Mr. Mike Dawes. Oh, nice to meet you, man. Hey, pleasure. Nice to meet you too. Hello, Internet. Yeah. <laughs> so we're sat here today in Frankfurt, yes, in Germany. Yes, at the, the Alta Oper in Frankfurt. Um, I'm out here opening for and playing guitar with a man named Justin Haywood, who's the, the main man in, in, in the Moody Blues. Um, and this is the first time we've ever done this show in Germany, so it'll be a lot of fun tonight. And nice to meet you guys. I've heard a lot about this amp. Uh, mainly because it has exactly the same name as my new album, Era. <laughs> so I was like, these guys are promoting my album without even knowing it. Thanks, using Kepner. Um, so yeah, lovely to try one of these out in real life. Let's, uh, should we check it out? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Um, yeah, just as Mike said, this is the first time that he's seen the amp in the flesh. We literally indeed. drove up this morning to, to meet you, didn't we? Indeed, indeed. And, um, After navigating the spinal tap backstage of this venue, where we need to go through about a million security doors and five cafeterias, we're <laughs> here, um, with the Era 2. So, so um, a, a lot of you will probably not know who I am and, or why I have my knees exposed. It's because I need new jeans. But other than mm -hmm. the knee situation, something that Buy I want to... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Buy the merch. Brexit. I mean, come on. Um, I have a guitar with lots of different pickups in it. Um, so for me, I've always avoided acoustic amps uh, or one-channel amps uh, because I can't really plug everything I need to uh, hear into it. Um, as well as that, I, I generally travel pretty light. Uh, and I spend a lot of time on the road, but as I was mentioning to you, I, I'm thinking within the next few months maybe taking some time off so I can play with some toys. And this seems like a toy that, that is a lot of fun. I have um, uh, three different pickup outputs. Well, I have four pickups in this acoustic guitar, okay? All over. I have a magnetic pickup from Damasio, a, uh, a, another piezo from the same company. I have a transducer and a, and a microphone. Now, what I've actually got on this amp, just through trying it out briefly, I don't know if you guys can see, but there are there are two channels and a and, well, there are four channels, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So the two two main channels we have here, these guys seem to have thought of everything in terms of EQ. They got a notch filter and, and things like this, um, different shape controls and and sort of very subtle, as we found out, very subtle sort of tone shaping features. Yep. Um, which I'd be very excited to try on a nylon string guitar, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so I have my piezo and microphone uh, pickups plugged into channel one. I'm trying to remember this, I have my magnetic pickup plugged into channel two, but also on the back, and I guess maybe you guys can get some close-ups when I'm doing that we or, will or something like that. Yep. Let's try that. At the back, <laughs> we have this a third pickup, this transducer plugged into a channel which which is very um, capable of doing exactly what I'm wanting it to do, but I believe you've designed it for things like playing audio sources and, and taking signals from external devices. Exactly, right? yeah. Okay, so Let's take a look at what we just did, I suppose. So, um, I'm going to mute the magnetic pickup and uh, this transducer. Uh, so I've got my piezo and microphone plugged into channel 1, which sounds something like this. Which is coming through very, very nicely. I've put... Um, now, I, I was going to give it a little treble boost, but you guys um, have actually got quite a healthy amount of treble in this app. And for me, I use fingernails for, for picking, right? So I, I try to take a little bit of treble off, at least if it's three band, I'll cut a little bit of the treble so I don't get too shrill a pick attack. So I've actually just kept this at the midpoint. I don't even really need to do a cut, which is actually very, very cool. Mm -hmm. I've got a little bit of a mid cut and um, uh, quite a lot of the bass cut, actually, because a lot of the bass is, is, is gonna come from actually the magnetic pickup uh, when we get to that and the the little transducer thing here, which naturally is providing a lot of a lot of bass. Um, what we also did is we found that uh, in this room and uh, with this particular piezo system, I have quite a boomy uh, sort of sound in the middle frequencies. And these guys have a notch filter on the master output, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Which we managed to use to very very efficiently to remove that. So if I just show you what that was, maybe this can translate into the microphone. I'm not sure. Just by turning the notch filter, I managed to make 
actually get rid of it completely. I mean, you're behind the camera and you can hear it. The speaker's facing away from us. This guy behind the camera is just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was super easy, which is great. And um, I presume that can work just as effectively with any kind of boomy frequencies in any room. Um, so let me mute that. I'm trying to read upside down now without my glasses on. Mute. And I'm going to unmute the magnetic pickup. Mm -hmm. Now that's this pickup just here, um, the Black Angel, the Marzio pickup, which I use to really beef up the volume of the guitar strings, as well as um, I run into some effects and things like that, yeah. uh, which you can do on this. I guess you have an effects loop as well. We haven't tried that yet. Mm -hmm. um, now what I've done on this is I've boosted the, the bass a little bit, I've cut the mids and I've, I've again kept the treble um, pretty neutral there simply because there is quite a lot of it. Um, so as a result, when you combine them together, um, might be unmute, I'm getting a nice fat. Very sort of well controlled acoustic guitar sound. And I have that little uh, kick drum into it as well, which is coming out nicely because you have, what, 8 inch speakers in this? Two 8 inch speakers. Two 8 inch speakers, yes, yeah. right. So, Plenty of bass response for that stuff. Um, again, I, I've always kind of not used a lot of acoustic amps in the past because of uh, that shrill treble response that I try and cut. So it's very cool that, that you can kind of do this very easily straight kind of out of the box. Yeah. Um, so this is the kind of sound that, that if I was at home, I'd want to just play with. It would be inspiring for me to play. And, and I'm actually, I might have to talk to you guys about getting one of these because it's very fun. Even from the back, I know you guys are probably hearing the sound as it's being projected out there, but it's just filling the room really very nicely. But we need effects, we need reverb. You guys have reverbs and things. In we do spot. indeed. There are 16 different effects built in. And as you can see across here, mm -hmm. we're closing up on these channels here. Oh damn, it's not even it's not even global. You have them on no, different channels different one and channels. two. Have them both separately. So let's say a more kind of standard oh, use of this. That's actually sound. cool. I had no idea about it that. Might be like a singer song with oh, the guitar okay, okay. in channel one and vocals in yeah, channel two. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And then you can have separate reverbs or delays or whatever okay. you want for the for the different instruments or whatever. Oh, that's very cool. So, so for what... you, you've got the option, I guess, to mix and. Oh, and let's try some more stuff. So yeah. so I could on the magnetic pickup, I could add a chorus. Yes. For just for the guitar strings, but mm -hmm. then the chorus wouldn't be applied to things like percussion or, or whatever it is that, that I might be doing away from the guitar strings. We can try that. Yeah. And then I could have reverb on the piezo and microphone to fill that space. Can we try that? Let's try it. See what that sounds like. Yep. And no, these aren't going to be put onto channel 4, which is what our little transducer is going into, right? That's the plan. Cool. Let's do that. That's awesome. The <laughs> manual. Yeah, I've had to bring Who, the little... Who's on the front of the manual? It's my boy. It's Pedri Sorry, boy. our good friend. Your good friend my too, boy, right? Pete. Yeah. yeah. Playing the same guitars. Kunz guitars, also in Germany. I'm going to visit Kunz guitars tomorrow. Mr. Both Kunz signature Kunz. artists. Signature right? artists, yes. Yeah. So you can buy our guitars from, I think, Toman and from Andreas's website and from China. <laughs> <laughs> Google it, everybody. It's a good time. It's a good time. So, if we're on, um, look, let's, let's look at the reverbs first. So, yes. if I'm looking at, oh, and you have independent effects volumes for these channels. Exactly, well. yeah. So, um, I presume number one will be a reverb, right? Yes, the first five are reverb. So, you've got a couple of rooms, a couple of halls. So let's, go, let's, 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 find, let's find a the hall. The okay, halls. so that would be three or four, and you've got a warm hall, which is number three, or a bright hall, which is number four. Oh yeah. And a bright hall. Yeah. Okay. I see. And the church. Church is number five. In the interest of apocalyptic doom, let's do the church. <laughs> Okay. And just the other effects, just for curiosity. Okay, so you've got the five reverbs, and you've got a few delays, short, medium, and long. You've got a pan delay, you've got a delay and a reverb, oh, then you've got a chorus, chorus, chorus and reverb, chorus and delay, flanger. See, see I was saying to Rich, um, chorus and reverb combined, for me, and, and in it, from instrumental guitarists, I think it's a really, really good combo, because it's that kind of 80s, new age sound. I mean, yeah. if, if, even like people like Antonio Fortuny, Michael Hedges, players like that, you get that heavily chorus guitar sound with a nice good reverb. It's it's very inspiring to play to and, and create instrumental music, for me anyway. So personally, I really uh, like that. But I haven't heard it yet, so let's try it in a bit. So I'll put this on five, right, for the, the church. And um, 
Um, uh, now let's uh, mute that channel. And so now we've got just the magnetic pickup. Yeah. So let's look at choruses. Yeah, and that goes from number 11, which is just a chorus. This one goes to 11. <laughs> they all, well, they all go to 11. In the second so just, let's, let's try just the chorus. Okay. So do you have different types of chorus? Or? We've got a chorus, a chorus and a reverb, and a chorus and delay. Okay, let's try the chorus reverb. There is quite, kind of a secret built-in feature that lets you twiddle with some of the effects. You can set ah. delay times a little bit. You can set okay, kind so of how the do chorus you frequency a little bit. There's a special combination of buttons that you've got to press. Oh, okay, so that's in the manual. Yeah, exactly. It's a chorus. Can you adjust the rate of the chorus? No, just the frequency. Yeah, of course, I thought it sounded like it was flanging a little bit. Well, let's try the flange. Okay, let's go to number 14 then. That's just flanger on its own. Cool, and 15? Flanger and reverb together. Okay, and then with delay. Cool. Yeah. So I'll go back to that chorus with that. Yeah. And I'll unmute that. And we'll be subtle. So I've got the effects volume on about sort of 25%. Yeah, about. So the reverb is still just It's just a little bit of extra wood that Andreas Kuntz put on the guitar. It's actually an idea that came from Nick Benjamin, my old guitar maker. Mm -hmm. um, well, not my old guitar maker, he's actually making me a guitar right now. Um, he made my first few high quality steel strings that I recorded my first album with. Um, and he came up with it as a, as a way to, I guess, stop um, a guitar player named Eric Roche from, from wearing down his guitar. Mm -hmm. And since then it got passed on to Eric's teacher, Eric's students, like Thomas Lieb and Newton Faulkner and players like that. Um, and it's become a little signature of this genre even, this weird sub-genre that, that um, I find myself in and players like my buddy Pete and uh, those guys find themselves in um, as a way of getting slightly extra little guitar sounds. Okay. It's, it's basically a, a, an extra bit of the top stuck on uh, but unfinished so we don't have the Willie Nelson on guitars, you know, yeah. the guitar can stay. The guitar can stay kind of. Yeah. Uh, Relatively unscathed, <laughs> relatively, but um, but that's nice. I, I like to make that a little bit more, a little bit more subtle. So say I wanted to add like my own reverb now uh, because I was actually just in Denmark and I made a cool little reverb thing over there. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted to plug that in, how would I do that? On the back here, mm -hmm. there is an effects loop. That's the channel four here. So you put your effects send and return here, and again you've got the level control. With Where's the return to control that? Here. Ah, okay. So that's where the so that's where the kick drum is, right? Okay, so how would I, let me see. Now this is just this is an input on the third so like, channel. Yeah, so yeah. like playing music from a phone or something. Yeah, let's say you had a break in between sets or something and you wanted to pipe in some MP3s or, or something. Oh, like okay, that. cool. Yeah. 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 All of that fun stuff. Yeah, exactly, elevated music. Really. Or channel. I could just <laughs> stick, or I could just stick the reverb, <laughs> like, you know, uh, in the chain before I get into channel one. You know, yes. For example, like if we're doing exactly what we're doing now, that was my phone. If we're doing exactly what we're doing now, um, you know, the piezo can go straight into an effect and then straight into the channel, and there we go, and then we don't even use these effects. Sure, yeah. Should you want. Um, cool. 
and ground lift and stuff, that's for... Oh, great, so XLR route on the back. Exactly, yeah, which is pre or post EQ, your choice. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, so I could use this as an on-stage monitor and go straight out to front of house and, and, and have either a mix on here or whatever. Exactly, that's yeah. That's very cool. Headphones, line out, so you can double these up and yep. if you want it. <laughs> awesome. And you've got a little sexy stand on the back. That was the other question was, you know, can it actually be used as a monitor because I stand up on stage? Yep. Um, and I guess the answer is yes, because these guys have thought of everything. Check this out. This weird, you know, it is not a Bob Dylan harmonica attachment or any, anything no. like this. No. Sticks in the back and then you can tilt, which is great. Because with tall amps like this, um, very important to get that. The projection in the right area. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. No, I like how warm this is. I was saying to these guys that um, a lot of acoustic amps I've tried, they really emphasize the treble. Um, and although there are, there is a lot of treble potential in the, these amps for sure, uh, there is also a lot of bass, a lot of bass. And that's something that I'm really looking for, especially with all that stuff. <laughs> All that kind of funky stuff, as demonstrated by Pete, my boy, Sariola. Um, you know, it's really, really important. And um, uh, I mean, just looking at the size of the thing and, and, and the fact you have two eight inch speakers is obviously a really good sign. But but hearing it um, really confirm that. So really, thank you for bringing this out. Really, and thanks for making the trip. Not a problem at all. Yeah, I'm greatly. I'd love to get one back, back up, back home, and have a have a noodle. That was a bit of Pierre and Susan. <laughs> Again, uh, the man himself. Um, very cool, very cool. Shh, mum. <laughs> no one texts me except my mum, so. It's like, you've got a speeding fine again, it's in my name. What's wrong with you? It's true, I woke up this morning and I had a, another traffic violation. But I think it was something stupid, like being in a bus lane in London. It happens all the time. Yeah. I'm not excusing myself, I know I'm in the wrong, probably. I'm just saying, transport for London. I repeat, buy his merch. <laughs> Brexit. Help a musician out, people. Help yep. the man buy some jeans, for God's sake. <laughs> yes, cue the comments about the jeans. I, I, did a, I did an interview with Andertons recently, and, and it was just like, oh yeah, that guy plays guitar really cool, but he really needs some new trousers. <laughs> That's very cool. Anyway, thanks, Susan Kettner. Thanks for dealing with my nonsensical ramblings in Frankfurt. Thanks for bringing out the Era 1 to try out. I really dig it. The Era 2, rather. The Era 2, right. indeed. So the Era 1 is, is you're still distributing, right? The it's Era just a smaller version. Yeah, it's exactly. essentially a compact version of the Era 2. Yeah. In fact, you could have done it in reverse order and done this and then a compact version. Like Mars bars, you know, right? That's... Almost exactly how we thought of it. Exactly. The, the reverse Mars bar philosophy. There you go, you have it. Reverse yeah. Mars bars are using Ketman. Yeah. Now making acoustic amps. Acoustic guitarist confirmed. Exactly. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. <laughs> pleasure, man. That was it. I'm Rich from Houston Ketner. Mr. Mike Dawes. Thanks so much. Play us out, why not? Okay. Um... Houston Ketner are oh, the best. Dun, dun. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> Do me. Should I do some other playing that you can cut in? Yeah, why not? Just, why in, not? just in case? Yeah. Equally wonderful. Yeah, Useful? Perfect. Absolutely usable. The internet has a sense of humor. <clears throat> it does. Cool. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, thank you very, very much for doing that. Cool. It was easy. The easiest yeah. interview we've ever done. I just, I, we let him go. I saw a guy with um, a shirt that said, Jesus is coming. And on the back it said, Jesus is going. <laughs>